If you have had breast cancer treatment, you may be having some niggling thoughts that may be preventing you from moving forward. Stay tuned to find out what they are and what you can do to combat them. Hi, my name is Dr. Tasha, and today we are going to talk about some negative thoughts you may have following a breast cancer diagnosis and what they may mean and what you can do to help alleviate them. I'm afraid of having a mammogram or scanxiety. Once breast cancer treatment is complete, you will have surveillance mammograms once a year for a minimum of five years. The visit to the clinic can be a stressful time and it can also be triggering for many. It can bring back memories of when the cancer diagnosis was made, which is something that you definitely do not want to revisit again. Of course, the worry is that the mammogram may detect a recurrence of that breast cancer and there are different types of recurrences that can occur. If you want to learn more about the different types, I have actually made a video about this and I will leave the link in the description below for you to check out. A mammogram will detect what is called a local recurrence. In other words, a recurrence in the breast where the cancer was. It will of course look at the other breast as well. If you have had a mastectomy, the mammogram will only be done on the other breast as you won't be able to have a mammogram if you have had a mastectomy. And this is true even if you have had a breast reconstruction following a mastectomy. Different types of breast cancers have different recurrent risks. Triple negative breast cancer tend to recur early, whilst ER positive cancers can recur beyond the five year mark. And so it is difficult to pinpoint an exact recurrence rate, as there are so many factors that come into play, such as grade, the size of the cancer, lymph node involvement, hormone and HER2 receptor status, and so on. If a mammogram picks up a recurrence, there are treatment options that can be offered. The important thing to remember is that a local recurrence does not always mean that there is distant disease, and local recurrence is still treatable. Ganxiety can be really challenging, but if a recurrence is picked up, then treatment can be instigated. This abnormal thing in my breast or chest wall must be a recurrence. Recurrence is a thought that is always present in the mind of someone who has had breast cancer treatment. Treatment for breast cancer changes the way the body feels, as well as how it looks. Following breast cancer surgery, the tissue surrounding the breast, mastectomy flap or chest wall can feel a little bit odd. Now, it's always important to remain vigilant whether you have had a mastectomy or lumpectomy. Getting to know how it feels following treatment is vitally important. This is so that if there are any changes that are new or different, you'll be able to notice them. Now, it's quite common for areas to feel a little bit different post-treatment. However, just because you found something unusual, it does not always mean it is a recurrence. There are so many other things it may be. It could be fat necrosis or dead fat. It could be scar tissue, cysts, or just normal tissue that has changed as a result of the treatment. Of course, if you find anything new that doesn't feel right, or if you are worried about something, you should get it checked out. However, although you may be fearing the worst, it may be just an area that is nothing to worry about. I want to exercise, but I am afraid it may do harm. One of the things we know that can help minimize the risk of cancer recurrence is exercise and I will always advocate exercise to all of my patients post-treatment. Some may worry that exercise may cause damage to the surgery site or cause more fatigue if you are already feeling tired. From the post-surgery point of view, once you have been given the go-ahead by your surgeon that it's okay to exercise, then exercise away. You would have needed to give time for the body to heal fully but once that is done, then exercise should be something you should do. If you are going through chemotherapy, many people experience fatigue, which can be quite debilitating. And exercise can actually help with this. So rather than sitting on the couch, go out for a walk and get some fresh air. Exercise away, movement is key. If you have finished your treatment fully, then do try to stay active and exercise as much as you can. Don't be afraid of it it can actually do you more good than harm. I won't be able to get back to my normal life. A breast cancer diagnosis is life-changing and once you complete your treatment, your life changes forever. 
Surgery changes the appearance of your breasts. If you have had chemotherapy, you may still be suffering from the fatigue and other residual physical side effects. Radiotherapy can affect the skin of the breast as well as the shape of the breast. And this is also the case if you have had a mastectomy and you went flat without reconstruction. If you are on anti-hormone tablet treatment, which you have been recommended to stay on for at least five years, if not longer, there are a plethora of side effects you have to navigate through. Although you may not feel that you will get back to your normal life, you will be able to navigate this new normal. It may take some time, months, even years, but with patience, support, as well as guidance, you will be able to reclaim your life, your new normal, whatever shape that takes. I hope this is helpful. 